culture has this magnificent uh, potentiality to incorporate yeah. everything in it. Yes, it does. So, in the end, uh, the Sex Pistols end up being mainstream culture. Are probably incorporated. Yeah. But that doesn't mean we're a corporation no, or no. cooperating. <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> okay. You start off to, to make music with friends. No, that, no, no, I wouldn't call the, the Sex Pistols friends. Oh. <laughs> Mate. I think it was just a, a rampant energy that connected us. Not nothing really to do with any kind of friendship. Oh, yeah. It was just a need to, to create, a do do anything, to get out of the stifling monotony of unemployment and no hope. John heeft de muziek al veel te lang moeten missen. De geur van vinyl lokt de rolls naar een bekende tweedehands platenzaak. De platen hier gaan langer mee dan een notering in de top 10. Hallo, Airy Records. <laughs> My name's John, as you probably don't know. But this is Mark, he's a Belgian historian, right? And uh, we're here to, uh, to have a butchers at what records are and what good records are. And as we know, most good records now are not available on CD properly. No, no. Right. The records are available all round. You see, the technology is all well and fine for playing on, on CD machines and DVDs, but you lose the quality of vinyl. You do, and you lose the atmosphere. I love Otis everything. Otis Redding like that? Otis Redding, big yeah. time. Yeah. Miles Davis is an oh, absolute yeah. genius. That's jazz done proper. One of the best oh, moments of... Be. was um, years ago, I was recording a Pill album, Public Image, one of my other yeah. bands, uh, in New York, and Miles Davis came into the studio. Really? while I was singing and uh, he came up behind. He didn't tell me he'd come in and he started playing and it was just so challenging, you know? Yeah. At the same time, I'm overloaded with respect for the bloke, but at the same time, I'm overloaded with respect for myself. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to be the star on that record. Right. You know? Whether you like it or not, you know, you've got to have a bit of ego. Shall we have a look where the Sex Pistols are here? Or, or oh, what? sod them old chestnuts. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is musical archaeology. <laughs> yes. It's eight pounds. Is that a lot of money? Isn't it? It's, it's all right. If somebody wants it for eight quid, I think it's good. That's a nice low price. Yeah. Record shouldn't be outrageous. You know, with, with punk, the problem was, Mark, that people then thought that's all they had to do was wear a punk outfit and just listen to punk music. Yeah. And that, for me, was moronical. Because when I started with the Sex Pistols, it was to break away from that cliché. Let's look for Cooper. Ah, here we uh, go. Alice Cooper. Alice. Uh, ladies, man. <laughs> <laughs> he wish. But dressing up as a woman, as Alice Cooper did, well, even taking the name Alice. Yeah. That is something more British, I would say, think, it than is, American. It is, and there might be a connection in it, but it's like, um, you've got to be self-effacing, you know? Mm. And if, if you're going to dress up like that and then take yourself deadpan serious, there, there's where you're making a mistake, yeah. you know? Just do it for fun. Yeah. I mean, I don't wear a dress because I don't look good in one. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever try? <laughs> I mm. tried once and I looked good. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Cut. Oh, yes. Now, there's a fine piece of work, that. The Prisoner yeah. with Patrick McGoo, and I loved that series. You don't mind if I put it on? Y'all ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I will not be pushed. You can get where I'm coming from. <laughs> My youth. I grew up watching this program. <laughs> what, a, what a purchase. Oh, I'm so pleased. Come on, Mark. Get rocking. Where am I? <laughs> Made my day. Great. Cliff Richards and the Seekers. You want to talk about silly English stuff. 
One of the first concerts I was ever taken to by my mum and dad was to see yeah. Cliff Richards. Well, he was a big star at that time. Yeah, yeah. And, and I've never, ever forgotten the act. I loved it, the girls screaming. You couldn't yeah. hear the music then because, you know, the, the amplification was so small. Yeah. But it was the spectacle of the event. Yeah. Right? So I never had much respect for the Beatles because they, they tried too hard to be professional. Yeah. It was the emotion of the thing. It's so exciting. And then he went on to become a, a, a Christian in a mad, mad way. Look. Yeah. Joel Rotten was here. Doorgewinterde fans van de Sex Pistols offeren hun extra vitamines op voor een felbegeerde signatuur van hun held. Zo blijft John nog wel even bezig. Terwijl hij de fruitmand afwerkt, geeft hij mij ook iets te doen. Did you like that, that you were considered to be dangerous? Yeah. I thought so. Yeah. <laughs> yes. At that age? <laughs> yes. It, but then, you know, the, when they discuss you, which they did, in the Houses of Parliament under the Treason Act, that's not so delightful. Treason Act? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Treacherous as well. Yeah. And then it becomes absurd. Yes. You know, mad bombers should be discussed under that. Not a bunch of kids singing some crappy songs. Yeah. Everything I do is part of British Music Hall. Yes. Right? Yes. That self-depreciating, at the same time, fun way of life, where you will, will, will attack things. You will. You, you will have a word to say about everything. In yeah. fact, you can do this in Britain. You can absolutely condemn something while at the same time be praising it. Irony. <laughs> Dat bevalt me wel, een wereldster die geen boodschap heeft aan egotripperij waarvan de diepgang niet verder strekt dan de roddelbers. Maar toch ontsnapt John niet aan een volgende lading fans. Ja, Johnny Lotten is geliefd. Get your tongue out, my ear. <laughs> Van China tot bij Frankie. Hey, to Frankie. To Frankie. Yeah, ugly bastard or something like that. Even ernstig nu, we zijn hier in The Walker, een museum, wat zeg ik, een schatkamer vol cultuur. Het grassy Turner. Queen Victoria? Yeah, that old bag. <laughs> oh, oh, well, I know that's a turner. That's a turner. But I can see heaps in it. Yeah. It has a lot oh, yeah. of atmosphere as well. Yeah, I see. But I don't think it's fantastic art. I think it's, it's, it's fantastic in originality. It's well done. Yeah, I think it's beyond art. Art, art to me is a sterile thing because of the, yeah. the preposterousness of galleries yeah. and, uh, and the quiet, subdued huffiness of it all. I think things like this, they're vibrant, they're exciting. They should be absolutely in a much, much, much louder venue. The typisch Britse schilderkunst kwam laat en traag op gang. Wat neoclassiek in aquarelle en portretten, oké, okay, maar mag het wat meer zijn, Turner and Constable. This should be modern painting. Oh, this is modern paintings. Hello, modern art. That I like. I don't know why, I just do. I just do instantly. There's something in I it. I know why. There's a crown in it, see? Tell us, Mark, is there anything here you, you like a lot? Show me. Well, this is not bad. It's a bit cartoon-like. This is fake Gauguin. Yeah. That's confusion and vomit. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. I'd look good in this, because it matches my eyes. <laughs> De Britse schilders hebben hun best gedaan, maar hun kunst kan niet tippen aan de greatness van Vlaamse, Nederlandse of Franse meesters. En ere wie ere toekomt, in dit prestigieuze Walker Museum genieten Rembrandt, Vermeer, Degas of Rubens meer aanzien dan hun Britse collega's. Is het het feit dat British painting is not really interesting? Apart well, from here or there? Not really interesting. That is extremely interesting. What is that? Well, that's the death of Nelson. I know that from a mile away. And yes, it is. Ha ha. But it's a very French romantic Delacroix style of painting, you know? We have no. all kinds of figures no, placed mate. one against this the is other. Anti French romantic. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but this must remember, be 19th century. <laughs> remember who they were fighting. Yeah. There's Nelson. The interesting is that he's not bigger than the others. 
Yeah. Well, there's one difference. He is wearing clothes and they don't. They have a little puddle of blood here. You're right. There's something it's political it's in that. Very light blood he is having. And it's a statement. You love your art, don't you? Oh, yes. You're slagging this one off. I'm not having it. It's terrible. <laughs> no, I want no. it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a wall that big to hang it on. No, it's not done for that, is it? No. That's this like... Is, uh, this is nationalistic art. Yes, it is. And this is time. 1892. The French stopped doing that uh, a century earlier because they know it was rubbish. You're just jealous, aren't you? No, so come we not out. Als we niet zo lui waren, we hadden een wandelingetje kunnen maken, maar met de auto lukt het ook wel. Want waarover spreken we eigenlijk als we over cultuur spreken? Culture, what is it? Uh, when it's the thing that, that strings you all together. There, there's all kinds of... Uh, Something you have in common. I, 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 to me, culture is, is the, it's a uh, pain suffered equally. I think that's a binding string. Ik vraag de godfather van de tegencultuur hoe lang men tegencultuur kan blijven. Is is not a problem if if you are outside of the system and uh, trying to be yourself that mm. as you are a potential money maker for business yes that you are taken up yes. and corrupted. Yes. You? Yes. Did that happen to you? No. I'm an absolute living example. It has not happened to me. Yeah. I, and you cannot fault me on it. Mm -hmm. And I know that. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's not arrogance. It's, there's just nowhere have I done anything for money. Yeah. Okay. Right? Because money is the root of all evil. Yeah. yeah. Very many of the punk bands, they went for the easy dollar rather than the long-term haul. Yeah. Right? And, I, and I've had to put up with, like, ooh, nearly 30 years now of grief. And it's worth it. It's worth it because I feel clean. Yeah. Right? And I can muck around and be a lunatic all I like, but I mean no harm to no one. Yeah. Do people still tell you that, that you're no good? Uh, I haven't heard it recently, but you're a sneaky lot, you Belgians. <laughs> 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 you're learning how to be British. <laughs> exactly. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Are you enjoying this this tour? Very much. I'm coming to places I've never been before and meeting people I've never should have met, well, could have met before. Yeah, I feel the same. Praten helpt in elk goed huwelijk. In een bijhuis van de Walker stuiten we kwantsuis op werk van celebrity fotograaf Terry O'Neill. Alle Godzilla's van de jet set hangen hier bijeen. Dit is de geldcultuur. If I agree with Photographers as being artists, it's... Really? Yeah. Anyone can take a picture of the famous and stick it on a wall. Yeah. It's, you know, the skill is to make someone not famous interesting make it from interesting. a photo. Yeah. Yeah. Tin Pan Alley. Oh, that's interesting to me. Not because of them. Who are they? Up oh, the Rolling Stones. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> well, I rehearsed in Tin Pan Alley. Really? The Sex Pistols, yeah. We went in there about once, I think, and that was enough. It was a grotty little hole, <laughs> you know, and like, oh, this is the seat Mick Jagger sat on. Yeah. Uh, Did you know that? OK, was... have you got a clean one? <laughs> 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 oh, who's this? Betty Davis, I thought it was Barbara Cartland. Well, they're You've a bit similar. Oh, yes, Barbara Cartland is uh, pink. Yeah, this is red. Pink, pink, red. Well, this might be her red period. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, here you see, this is a mafiosi. This is the mafia on the beach. Yeah. Nobody walks like that. Shows Dirty going. people, you know. Living off others, parasites, as indeed all criminals are. Oh, criminals, it takes us to <laughs> the royal family. <laughs> that's, that's quite brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you can't plan it, can you? No. <laughs> My but, husband lie. This I tell you what's fun about this. This is a photo, right? But it's exactly as staid as one of those stuffy oil paintings. Yes. Look at her it, face. It could, have been, been a... it could have been, couldn't it? Yes. Her face has been held solid, rigid, <laughs> for 22 centuries of inbreeding. <laughs> I've turned my back on a lot of them. Geen wonder dat John geen plaats kreeg tussen al die glad Janussen. Voorlopig toch niet. How do you want to be immortalized? Ah. Realistically. Oh, yeah. Shut up, John. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is 
Polaroid, this works very fast. Well, if this becomes art, I'm telling you, it absolutely proves to me that the utter rubbish and valuelessness of all of this. <laughs> I hope it does. How do you yeah, do that? I know how Polaroids work. You, uh, you've got to give them a good rub. <laughs> <laughs> no, from the hottest part of your body, you know what I mean? <laughs> Don't be shy. Dank u, Polaroid. Zometeen siert een eenvoudige triptiek met de doorleefde gelaatstrekken van John Lydon, het Walker Museum. Yeah, I'm trying to get it to develop. I don't yes. think it will. Uh, no, this is enough. This is semi-abstract. That's, that's really, really, really great. That, that's fantastic, right? Look, these two appeal to my vanity. Yeah. And here's the, that's the, real the, the, the bitter truth. <laughs> <laughs> the bitter truth. We hebben het nu wel gehad in Liverpool. Wat ik na al die kilometers nog altijd niet weet is waar de naam punk eigenlijk vandaan komt. <laughs> So the, the, the term punk, that wasn't ours. The press put that on us. Was that on imposed us. on you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But the first writing of it was by a, a, a journalist called Caroline Kuhn. She, she put it in Melody Maker in, in a front page article. And it said, Johnny Rotten, king of punk. Yeah. Uh, I was disgusted. Yeah. At first I didn't, uh, you know, what are you calling me what? What? I oh, know it's punk, I'd never even heard the word. Yeah. And I looked it up in a wow. dictionary and there it was. It's um. You know, it means uh, uh, Mr. Big's plaything in prison. Yeah. You know? It's, Excuse me. It's dark. <laughs> I'm yeah. no one's bum boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you but, know, flaming cheek. <laughs> but it stuck to you. <laughs> but it stuck. <laughs> and, and it became a, it became a, a you know, a punk's as someone who fights back. Yeah. Well, right? who stands up and says no. Right, so therefore it's good. John stelt een ommetje voor langs Blackpool aan de westkust, de hoofdstad van een heel ander soort cultuur. We vragen geen raad aan de burgemeester of de politie, maar gaan ons licht opsteken bij iemand die er echt verstand van heeft. Elsie, een ervaringsdeskundige. Elsie neemt al 80 jaar op zijn Brits vakantie in Blackpool en dat is waar Blackpool voor dient, om er met vakantie te gaan. John kan niet wachten om Elsie aan het hart te drukken. Hello, I'm John and this is Elsie. Hello, Elsie. How do you do, Johnny? Elsie's 85 and comes to Blackpool every year for your holes. That's right. This is a right good working class town, isn't it, Absolutely. for that? Absolutely, you and, can't beat it. And, and us working class people, we have our values that matter. True. And it's all looking very pretty. There was a time here. 15, 20 years ago, and um, I used to come through this and it used to look like a bomb site. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> every year. So you must really come, love it. I come twice a year, actually, but they forget that. I was here in June. Well, maybe they think you never left. They never thought just vacating here permanently. I don't want to stay. People keep asking me, why do I, why do I not come and live in Blackpool? And I say, because I'd have nowhere to go for my holidays. <laughs> when I first came to Blackpool, and I, I was two and a half, going on, uh, all we did was go on the beach. When the tide was out, we went on the beach, sand, as we used to call it, yeah. donkeys and ice cream. That was your day. When the tide came in, you had a walk on the prom. And Friday night was the night when all the children looked forward. Most exciting night, because oh. your parents took you on the pleasure beach. Never any other night except Friday, and that was because people were very poor in those days. Yeah. Oh, you're bringing back tears in my eyes. Cause <laughs> it's I, true. I, no, but I remember the holidays when I was young, being taken to the beach. See, I mean, it wasn't much at all. The yeah. don one so donkey, donkeys. one donkey ride, but you remembered it so, oh, yeah. so right. well. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. too many amusement arcades. Yeah. There's too, too much demand. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In, true. And spoiled brats. That's right. Well, that's the problem, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's the problem. And, and the more money these... They are... ask, they get now, don't they? How do we, how do we explain to, uh, to uh, people outside of Britain uh, why we hold fondly to this country? Everything sure, is right, yeah. valueless yeah. unless you, yeah. you have your own. Yeah. Loud and proud, because it's taken many, many yeah. centuries for this, this country to, to solve itself and sort itself out mm -hmm. as a an on, uh, as a nation, 
True. <laughs> you know, you were in the war, you fought for us. Correct. So, yep. hugs and kisses, my dear. Right, because yeah. it will not be forgotten yeah. by the likes of me. Well, well, the war. I'm not that rotten after all. Oh, no, you're nice. You look at the end. God bless you. Are we done now? Er wachten ons honderden kilometer te rijden en we moeten de grens van Schotland over richting Glasgow. Did he have a sleep? Yes, I just passed totally out. Because I, I didn't have any sleep last night. Mm. And now when they knocked on the door, I just bust my lip on the on the <laughs> on the wall. I just smashed my whole face in. <laughs> I have to wear glasses, I've got two black eyes. <laughs> yeah, I can feel it swelling up. Who cares? My brain is bursting, my ears are just swelled. Look at that. And I'm now going to be Irvin Welch, a very fine writer. Is that you? It is. Is that you, mate? Irvin. Brilliant, mate. How you doing, buddy? Uh, you all right? How's the flu? Uh, I hope we don't catch it. No, it's all right, mate. I'm Come fine. down and meet I'm us. Gonna... At the moment, I'm doing brandy to stop the nose dribble. And, and they... Look, I've got this stuff. I'll oh, bung it. It don't work. It's allergy. It's crap. Oh, God bless you. You too, buddy. You too. All right. I'm sorry I didn't come to the cemetery. No worries, man. No worries. We're trying to so get I had a great time. I was sitting up at the top of the hill. The sun was going yeah. down. Yeah, that was Mark. He was lovely, aye. Yeah, was, 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 was he fun of life? No, he was fun in a quirky kind of way, like, you know. Yeah. I enjoyed it, yeah. Yeah. I was talking to the, you know, your boy, what's his name, uh, Mark, like, you know. <laughs> he ain't uh, my oh. boy. Yeah, no, well, he's your boy. You've been fucking touring, but <laughs> you love him, man. You know? <laughs> Sleeping together, fucking, <coughs> <coughs> you know. Sort yeah, of he's the son in the rolls and I'm the one in the camper. Yeah, but what he was saying is, like, kind of, he started off thinking that, um, you know, you were going to slag off Britain and he was going to sort of love Britain and all that, and it's kind yeah. of working out the other way around, and I'm like, yeah. It might me. be for him, but what you don't understand about Britain is that we moan about our place all the time amongst each other, all right? And, and when you try and share that moaning with someone from abroad, they take you quite literally, yeah. instead of uh, yeah. uh, figure. Uh, well, artistically speaking. Well, it's a cultural speaking. thing, isn't it? You've got to fucking complain, like fuck, you know what I mean? It's like kind yeah, of, it's, it's, a, it's your birthright, basically, you know? It's like, it's a working class thing, it's all you, it's all you, you know, it's just fuck all left. This is what I've been doing. trying to tell him, yeah. and you, ju you just hit it on the head. Yeah. <laughs> Which is necessary food. again, like, you know? I'm allergic to Blackpool, absolutely. I was in Blackpool, I, I, got, I got married two weeks ago and I went to Blackpool for my stag four weeks ago. <laughs> Elsie moest het weten. The greatness of Britain ligt in wat van en met en door het volk is. Daar komt cultuur van. Het is een cliché dat cultuur en tegencultuur elkaar in evenwicht houden. Maar vanavond vrees ik het ergste voor dat evenwicht, want het is de zuipcultuur die wint. De flurk heeft plots geen koord meer. Met zijn spitsbroeder maakt hij een paar sloten van de beste cognacsoldaat. Het exorbitante debiet doet de hotelrekening alweer als een raket de hoogte inschieten. Het helpt maar beter tegen de microben, want griep of een kater? Morgen schop ik rotte weer om acht uur uit zijn luie strozak. Onze zoektocht is nog lang niet rond. Wie bij de hond slaapt, moet tegen de vlooien kunnen. <tie>